Australia's new federal battery rebate is here and it could slash up to 50% off your battery costs. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to find the optimal battery size, how much it should cost, and show you how to avoid some of the common mistakes. I'm Jeff Sykes, the CEO of Solar Choice, and we are independent experts in home electrification. You can use our website to compare quotes from local pre-vetted installers anywhere across Australia. So let's get to the point. With price data from over 400 installers in our network across Australia, we can tell you that the average cost of a typical 10 kilowatt hour battery will be around $7,600. Now that includes the federal battery rebate of $3,500. This means the rebate is roughly 30% off. Not bad, right? However, as we go to larger battery sizes, the average cost will change. If we look at a 20 kilowatt hour battery, the average cost is $10,600. And that includes a federal rebate of around $7,000. So we can see the discount has increased to 40% with this larger battery. The price in your circumstances will of course depend on the install requirements, what type of battery you choose, and which installer you go with. One of the most important questions to answer is, what is the right battery size for my circumstances? Now this can be a quite difficult question to get accurate advice on. Solar companies often have an incentive to sell you the biggest battery they can. So let's look at some principles. The first one is you will want your battery to be able to charge with surplus power from your solar system. So you don't want a huge battery that's sitting there that can't charge with the, the power that you're generating on the roof. And you want that battery to charge up to 100% on at least 80% of the days of the year. So that includes through those winter months. Take a look at your solar system and the app to work out how much surplus energy you're generating. Secondly, most people size their battery to cover around 70 to 80% of the overall power needs. Take a look at one of your recent electricity bills to see what your average daily energy usage is. And this is a good size to start with in terms of your battery capacity. If you need more help on battery sizing, the best thing you can do is use Solar Choice's free battery calculator. You can plug in your electricity bill information and easily scroll through different size batteries and work out what the change would be in terms of that battery's performance and the expected savings. So now we need to know, is a solar battery worth it? The amount of savings that you will get from a battery will vary pretty significantly across Australia, depending on your electricity usage and what electricity plan you're on. However, if we take an example of a typical Sydney homeowner with around 15 kilowatt hours of daily electrical use and a highest electricity rate or peak electricity rate of 45 cents per kilowatt hour, a 10 kilowatt hour battery will deliver savings of around $1,300 per year. And with an average cost of $7,600 after the rebate, that means that battery is gonna take around five years to pay for itself. You can always increase the savings that you make by joining a virtual power plants, which offer you financial rewards for helping out the grid in times of need. Keep in mind as well that a battery is gonna offer non-financial benefits, including things like keeping the power on during an outage, or increasing your independence from the electricity grid. There are two main ways a battery will connect to your solar system and house, AC coupled and DC coupled. DC coupled batteries charge directly from your solar panels before the energy is converted to AC power. They're a little bit more efficient, but they require a compatible hybrid or battery ready inverter. AC coupled batteries are easier to retrofit because they just connect directly to your switchboard. As they have an inverter built in, they can work with pretty much any existing solar system. It's slightly less efficient though, because the DC power on the roof is gonna get converted back to AC through your solar inverter, and then back to DC to get into the battery. Generally, this is gonna be more affordable than replacing your entire solar inverter. So in a nutshell, for new installs, go with a DC coupled battery. And for existing solar systems without a hybrid inverter, go with an AC coupled system. We've reviewed all of the batteries available on the market and given each one a score out of five. Check that out on our website. From that analysis, here's three quick tips that we can give you. Most batteries are manufactured overseas, so we recommend looking for a brand with a good Australian presence. In the best case, that's gonna mean an Australian office, an Australian website, and at least five years of trading history in our Australian market. 
Secondly, look for customer reviews on an independent platform. Solar Choice has an independent platform for customer reviews where we've verified every single customer. And finally, let's look at the warranty of the battery. We want at least 70% of the battery capacity guaranteed after 10 years, and be sure that they have an Australian support line to help you if something goes wrong. If you wanna be sure and stick to one of the best options on the market, then check out the link in the description to our top five battery list. In our opinion, you can't go wrong with any of those brands. In summary, we recommend starting with our battery savings calculator. Check out what the optimal system size is for your circumstances and confirm it's going to be a worthwhile investment. Then stick with a good battery brand with a good track record in our Australian market and a solid warranty. Make sure you get quotes from trustworthy installers and compare quotes to make sure you're getting a good deal. You can use the Solar Choice website to connect with local installers that we've pre-vetted near you. That's all we've got today. Subscribe to our channel to see the latest reviews and check out guides on your home electrification journey.